So a lot of people may assume Fnatic should just be able to get a pick to a victory, but I don't think so. Not up against like a team like Geekpack. Yeah, they have like, a... Other than you'd expect. Just a bit afraid of where Jabs could be on that Ogre, and now Jabs will show himself, but they won't go all the way for the kill onto that Luna. I think they're more than satisfied to just leave Savage on very, very low HP, but now DJ's been forced to come in. He's looking for an arrow, but the neutral creeps actually blocked the path, and so Zephyr will keep running, but the first blood will come out. DJ does still manage to pick it up, and now Cuckoo does get a trade onto 23 Savage, but he may also die. In fact, no, he's gonna blink TB. DJ, can you find the arrow? Not in time. Surprised that he actually took the bait from Ice. Like, there, you do not chase the Timber Saw at this point. Just focus on that farm, Raven, and try to build an item advantage in that case. It's the only thing you can do. Uh, mid lane, Jab's gonna be chased down, but he'll go for a TB. Attempt to read the side. Gonna be there in time for Carl. He just waited for the last second. See you later, nerds. And uh, that was the first Reaper side for the game. Just a nice, easy pick Ooh. up there for Carl. He's also harassed Moon out, though Moon, he's actually got the bot lane now, and they do secure the kill onto Ice Ice Ice. In fact, it wasn't Moon, it was DJ that was there. Yeah, they they threw a lot of bodies down bot from Geek Fam to find that kill. DJ's movement just a bit too late to bail Ice out. And they do finally find that kill. That does free the top lane up. You are seeing Savage catch up there. Mid lane, Ooh. arrow picks perfectly there from DJ. Bot lane again, three heroes are going to be down there up against Ice Ice Ice. Ice does uh, see a courier there for a second, but he's just going to ignore it. Now they are looking to try and make a play onto him again. Ink Swarm going to be there. Ice is going to try and chain away, but oh. he's just a bit too early on. And now Battle Strike comes in once again. Raven should be able to secure the kill and does. A very easy one out there for the Monkey King. But nobody's there anymore, and he's just going to go for the outpost still. Now Zephyr, Chakra is going to be available, so Zephyr might just be dead. He gets chained up as well, and Ice will happily take the kill for himself. Because it always allows Savage to just get a free lane for himself. And, uh, I mean, that Luna, if she free farms for a while, it's going to be problematic. In fact, mid lane, they have found Carl again with that arrow, and Carl is going to die very easily. He's going to be able to just free farm on this Luna. Yeah, this really hurts the timing of Geek Fam now. Um, I think, again, they've got the lid on Ice, sure, but they have given Savage a lot of leeway just to free farm the jungle. Your Necrophos is off to a bit of a slower start, and you are seeing a lot more from Fnatic to pressure Raven down bot. Yeah, Ice has Ice finds his second kill of the game. White will will die now. He has been left long, alone top for quite a while now. Jab's going to try and harass him out while he's oh. taking the outpost. And now the arrow does connect from DJ. Raven, though, in there to try and help out. Cuckoo does end up dying. And now Zephyr will also rotate in. And they will take down the ogre. But they don't get what they came for. They wanted that outpost back. Just in case that Lotus Orb comes out last second from my size size. Yeah, it's uh, going to be... Fnatic, they've rotated up top to try and help out Ice. Geek Fam are still sticking around there, but Jab's gonna show himself. Now Raven jumps down the tree. It looks like they are gonna try and kill off White, but then they do with Zephyr now, falling very, very low. Remnants will be enough from Moon. Discover what the only man to get out of there after that top lane was Raven on the Monkey King. So I, I do believe this is that point where they can actually try and deal with Carl on the Necrophose properly. Uh, and they may feel the necessity to do so as well as Carl has been sitting on the top of the net worth board for quite a while now. So he is going to be worth quite a lot of XP and gold. However, in that Radiant Jungle now, they're trying to taste down DJ. DJ on the run for a does lead the way. Now Savage comes in with the Eclipse. Sonic Wave is there from Cuckoo, but does nothing. Meanwhile, Wukong's command out from Raven, but he lets it go. As Moon was on the chase. Cuckoo eventually killing off DJ on that Mirana, but now they go after Zephyr on the DK. Does go down. Well, I see if he can even spot out anything else. He does get a courier, but doesn't quite get the final auto attack. Now, one is going to try and turn around there with Carl, but this could be dangerous as Moon does jump in. Reaper side this out. I said, I still oh. alive though. It wasn't enough. The ghost form is there from uh, from Carl, but it's not going to mean anything. Not while you've got Moon around on that Ember. Because you can't really not fight right up against the, the Luna, who is just going to outscale you eventually. Like, they need to continue trying to apply that pressure. But 
The past couple team fights just haven't been working out their way, and even now, Raven. He's gonna go down up to that top lane. DJ and Moon just take him out by themselves. And once that blinks up, I think you fix some of that initiation problem you have. They do smoke up, though. They really want to find some pick -offs. Well, they spotted out Jabs, but Jabs already got the Observer Ward. Now Raven gonna go after him. Ice 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 gonna show up there with DJ. Arrow does connect onto Zephyr, and Ice is bursting out the DK very fast. They do not for the full scale team fight. Reaper Sight does go out into Jabs. He does finally die. Now the Sonic Wave is out, but with the Eclipse there from Savage, he just took down so many people. Wyman even, still getting chased by Moon, will also end up dying. Now Cuckoo trying to TP away, but DJ, he got the yules off he has the arrow he'll wait out the chains and now gets the arrow off it's gonna be a triple kill out for savage and it's a four for one trade that bottom tier two tower however does now fall fanatic do claim it for themselves and with that tower being taken if they so wish they can go ahead and defend in fact they're gonna moonlight shadow off and go on to cuckoo who does get also caught by the arrow and it's going to be a very easy pop three pick off back there, fight <laughs> over the kill. Oh, and now no. Fnatic, straight up towards the uh, the north, up to that top lane where they try to chase down Geek Fan. And you look at the build up and say, even Carl, he's actually saving up for the Ragings, which I don't mind for a long game. It's just that when you are playing the long game against Fnatic's draft, that Luna most certainly has a lot more scalability than a monkey. Oh, Zephyr, top lane, getting caught out. He tries to survive, but the damage there from Ice 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 is just way too high. Whirling Death up against the DK just melts that Dragon Knight. And they found another. Raven has been caught out of this Monkey King. Chained up, Jabs is there, the arrow connects, Moon will take the kill. And immediately, the smoke will come out now from Fnatic. They're just not going to let up with this draft. Uh, well, we will see the side of Geek Fam just trying to back off for a little bit, but Cuckoo could be in trouble again. In fact, never mind Cuckoo. Look at Carl and that Necropost. Moon does not spot him out. He goes for another. Instead, they'll go on to the easy kill for Wyman. They'll get the Grimstroke. Now they'll see Carl mid. Carl not really backing off yet. Savage will go, and now Moon does jump in. Zephyr does go to the Dragon Fall, but a great dodge on that Dragon Tail stunt from Moon. Now the Spirit Vessel arrow being blocked up by that Dragon Knight, but it doesn't matter. The Sonic Wave, the Eclipse, all being thrown out. The Sonic Wave was decent, but Ice 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 still on top of Carl. He will eventually just back up, go back after that tier 2 tower mid. Hurting them. But that said, because of how far behind they are, if they find a pickoff, you could see a massive swing, at least in EXP, and that's Top that lane. could help the cause. Oh no! Smoke, oh boy! Smoke shadow, they're gonna find the big one. Carl arrowed up, really can't sustain this much damage and move. There's the bounty being placed. <laughs> they do all get the bounty. They place so oh, many God. beforehand, and now Zephyr as well going down on the DK. And he was getting closer and closer to that blink tagger. I believe he was about two, three hundred gold off, but... You're just farming the creep wave and suddenly it flies out here. Oh god, I'm dead. It's real, uh, yeah, it would have been a bit of a fight there for, uh, for our poor Necro. Savage gonna start moving into that tier three. Of course, with the bloodlust on the siege creep as well as Savage, it's gonna be a lot of damage coming to that tier three tower. They need to take that, that uh, siege creep down ASAP. We'll jump in, Zephyr going after that Luna, a lot of damage being dealt here, Savage does have the Aegis, will pop the Mantra, will lose the Aegis. Arrow, barely missing out there on the Necrophos. If they kill anyone right now on Geek Fam, none of them have buyback. So they could theoretically end the game if they actually took a big team fight and won Fnatic, and they may understand this. Sometimes you just have to guess. Zephyr gonna jump in, in with his blink dagger, Soulbind there as well, but Zephyr, he does fall. Moon jumping in as well, they're trying to get that Luna out of there, Savage will not die. Now Raven trying to fight back up against the Ember, he will just run oh. it out, and the Sonic Wave doesn't really connect. It only really got jabs on the Ogre. And so now with the Wukong's down, the Sonic Wave down, you just go back in. Ice 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 just planting those branches down. Arrow beautifully connecting there on the Carl. Nice Ice Ice does get the kill regardless of missing the chain on that tree. And now, secondary racks. They've just got everything for them. Yeah, there's nothing left from Geek Camp for defense. No ults up. They can't punish this. 
Arrow being taken there from Zephyr just to protect Carl, but that will cost him his life. They give him the tip as well, just to rub it in. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't really have a choice. Carl was probably going to get dived on a die if he didn't take that arrow. Geek fam, they do still have a chance at this, but they need to win this team fight. I don't believe they can defend against Megas with this draft either. It's not going to be the the, uh, the easiest defense. It's going to be very hard to play back if you have to. Never mind the draft in with that wing. Inkswell there as well. DJ falling low. Does get Reaper Sight to die. In fact, it was Savage. Savage does end up going down the Luna. And now Isai Sight's going to be in trouble. He'll go down as well, it looks like. They do get that Jigu Mastery. They go for more now, with the Ink Swap Primal springing up from Raven. He doesn't connect on anyone, but they'll keep oh. going. Jabs, however, does turn around to Cuckoo, but now Raven. He does go down as well. They just kite him out, going back in. Wyman, he's in big, big trouble. He has no friends left, but he is probably just going to die anyway. A double kill out for Moon. And there's the GG call. So it looked kind of amazing to start, because they did find the Lunar kill. And they also got the, uh, the Timber Sword, but they just turned around and killed Raven. Yeah, that's a really far push forward from Geek Fam. I understand he needed a lot more Celts to bounce back. Fnatic, they played it well. I believe that's going to be a mid Shadow Demon. No. Uh, no, it's an off wave. <laughs> All right, I saw that. I saw Sus in his stream. He has this game. I don't know what it is, but basically he just has random heroes he has to play in the off lane. But Jabs was there with the paralyzing cast to make sure they couldn't actually keep going. But uh, that was just a level one combo coming out from Geek Fam. They can easily just go again if they wish, and they will. They'll be the stroke of fate with the fire blast, and Jabs, no, he'll still survive. Eventually, Zephyr does get the final auto attack to secure the kill. That's very far up and Moon, getting blocked by his own creep wave, but now will turn around. He has the Dragon's Breath in just a few seconds. Chains comes out now from Carl, but Moon is trying to bait him back in. No, he misses the breath. It was a nice attempt to just not work out for him. And that was completely blind out from Moon as well. But Carl's completely out of region and Moon already has this inbuilt region. So he doesn't really need to worry. They do end up killing off Jabs down the bot lane. And now Moon does go down the mid lane. Carl finds him anyway. Yeah, Moon walked right into the T1 range. Continuous attempts to try and kill each other off. And it's not something you see too often with an, with an Ember vs DK matchup. Uh, usually they, they stagnate quite a bit in this mid lane, but Carl and Moon have really been at each other's throats. But bot lane, Wyman does end up killing off Savage. To allow Savage to try and get himself back into this lane. Raven is still dominating though, 29 and 6. But now Paralyzing Cast, DJ is going to be there with the Impel, and Savage is out with the spin. Raven just trying to run away, but the Melodic may just pop him out. Still trying to run, but he should be dead here. They will get DJ, or maybe they won't. He's still running, but eventually does go down. Now the idea is if they can get jabs on this Witch Doctor. Be a positive trade. Somewhat. Stroke of Fate, Fire Blast will be there, but the Healing Ward and T1 Tower. But, it's like Moon has decided he's going to TP down bot. Does have that Dragon Form up, and he wants to try and commit an ASAP. Of course, Geek Fan may try and uh, just push in that mid wave a little bit onto that T1 tower, but they may not have much time. Top lane, however, Ice 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 is going to die thanks to the rotation there from Whiteman and, of course, from Zephyr. But you want to maintain that. You want to build into your first big item, which looks to be, in this case, the Maelstrom build. Uh, not something we've seen too often from Jugs now, but still, you know, something they can opt for and should allow Savage uh, to ramp up his own farm. Mid lane, DJ getting dived, Carl doesn't really have the chain, Ooh. Remnants almost take him out, but now moves there with the Dragon Tail, and Carl, he used all his Remnants to try and go off that Nyx Assassin kill. So now with the Melodic on top of him, he's probably going to die, but the Flame Guard will protect for now. Savage, meanwhile, chasing Zeph with a spin, doesn't have Omni Slash yet, but with the Phase Boots, it should be enough to just chase him down. Meanwhile, Carl is still in trouble, and they will eventually get the kill. Boone the one to pick it up, and now mid lane, Kuku does come in and secure the jump kill. 
But here comes Jams, paralyzing task, does bounce back towards the quad, but DJ misses the impale again. So Kuku gonna keep running, but... Raven start to pull just a bit ahead with that kill. And this is definitely helping Geek Fam a lot. They just want their Luna to be up and running ahead of the jug. Fnatic, they've got to be a bit careful with how far forward they put Savage, but if they find trades, it should be okay. Oh, the DK gonna be in trouble now, but I side side starts no for disruption. Nerd still in huge trouble. Does get chased down and killed off. Ice trying to fight back by himself. He's got a lot of shadow poison stacks going out on everyone. Now the death wants to fly out. Jabs should secure the kill on the on the Zephyr though. No, he doesn't die quite yet. Wyvern, however, runs back in with the ink sword. Should be enough, but now Savage does come in with the uh, with the Omni Slash. And Cuckoo, he's just trying to run away, but the spin. Gonna be there, but the bleep will also be out from the quad. Does have the Necronomicon one. So his farm is starting to kick into gear. It's just gonna finish his arcane boots next. Uh, really down to him how to itemize red, whether he goes for a durability for his team or just more damage for the Ags. Gonna be nice. important. Get caught out here. Trying to go on to Zephyr there with the destruction, but he will ultimately die. To make matters worse, Carl did end up picking up the regen room. And now jumps in. Still has the regen active, by the way, Carl. Will keep going, but now he's been stunned up. Soulbind will be there, however. Carl took a lot of damage, but it won't matter. Raven still secures the kill on the jabs. And Carl looks like he will take out the melody, but unless he gets a slide of fist off, and he won't. He will die. And now Savage oh. goes for the Omni. It is not to Raven, but he's not taking that much damage. Cuckoo will also jump in on that Queen of Pain. And this jump just can't finish off the kill, so Cuckoo will chase him down. Understanding spin is not available. But they don't have a way to cancel the TP. Nevertheless, though, oh. playing Sonic Wave does come through. Moon will die as well as DJ on that Nyx Assassin. And these two teams are just going at it. Constant team fights going on. In fact, it's not even over. Cuckoo jumps in onto Ice Ice Ice. Destruction will come out. Jabs trying to follow up, and now Wyman will start him up with the five last. Zephyr back in there with Carl on the Ember. They'll go back on to Jabs rather than try and kill off Cuckoo. So Quap does die, but Ice 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 will also die. Now Jabs does finally go down, but Savage, he's gonna make a run for it. He doesn't have spin or TP right now, so all he can possibly do is fight back. But Geek Fam, afraid of the rotations to come in from Fnatic, who back off? You know, Geek Fam has been very disciplined about. They've got so many sentries on the map to ensure that this Nyx doesn't get maximized. So you're going to have to rely on Moon to jump in if you want to force fights. There you go. Does jump in. It's going to be an easy pass five kill there onto Whiteman. He will just die. Fought and died. Going to need a bit more than that, though, I guess, for Fnatic. Like, you still want to really kill off Raven, who is sitting at almost 10k net worth now on that Luna. I believe he just needs that ultimate orb to finish off the Manta, and that's basically done after this ancient uh, free wave, though. Soulmine can come out mid lane. Carl, gonna be able to rim it out, but the Melody will take him out anyway. In fact, it was Ice 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 there with the Shadow Poison that didn't secure the kill off that Ember Spirit. So I suppose the only option left is to maybe set up that T1 mid tower. But they don't have a creep wave. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame without smoke. Um, you mentioned Geek Fam if they're winning or not. It's 11 to 18 with just a 2k advantage. That means all of your gold is going to the Luna. So it's really down to Raven to try and carry that. I think the Luna can overtake quite nicely, but you also worry about the potency of those disruption illusions. We've seen a lot of Lunas not deal with those well. So it's an issue of a back and forth timing there still. Savage, a bit too far forward. Okay, but top lane Savage is gonna go for the spin away. He had TP off cooldown in a few seconds, but now while it's uh, while that spin's gone, he is just gonna die. This jump kick just hasn't really seemingly worked out at all quite yet for Fnatic. To try and try and go for another team fight if you are the side of Fnatic. However, you would be fighting to Raven's 10 second BKB charge. Yeah, Big Ben, they have smoked up. Jumping onto Jam, they'll go for the chains onto that Shadow Demon with the Sonic Wave now. Ice 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 is gonna fall very low. Jam does go down, there's still chase Ice Ice Ice, but now the Omni does fly out, really killing off no one yet. Cuckoo does eventually oh. fall on the clock, but now Carl also will go down on the Ember. Wyman trying to turn around and kill Ice. And he'll be just fine. 
And so the one time Geek Fam actually try and smoke up and make that big team fight happen. Easy distance closing for the pickoffs and with this Aegis coming out here for Savage, it becomes a bit harder to commit on killing the drug. To try and protect the T3 from. I guess the creep wave's coming in. But you're at that point where Savage is going to keep split pushing that top lane, trying to force Geek Fan back. Now they can go on to Cuckoo in that mid lane with a nice intel up from DJ. Oh. He does also have the blink in Cuckoo. We're trying to blink away, but no, the oh. car! It was following him down. It cancels the TP. Cuckoo is definitely dead. The Purge got placed there by Ice 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 and Jabs had enough damage with the Melody. That paralyzing cast just floated oh, down with the blink. That is so unfortunate. Oh. So he's missing out on that item, and just like that, Savage takes the tier 3. That he does. Onto the rats. Soulbind's gonna fly out. Now the ink swirl there onto Wyman, but they're not really going in. They're being very, very hesitant about this. Of course, the healing ward is gonna be there from Savage, just healing up all the damage they pump out onto Moon. So he's just fine with taking all this damage. Now the healing ward does die, but they found the melee rats up at the top lane, and Geek Fan, have they waited too long? Ice Ice Ice, he jumps into the disruption. Now Fuku gonna try and get in there. Oh. Sonic Wave does connect on two, but the Omni will kill him off. They just can't win this. The Zombie oh, Tell there onto Raven. They clear them out. And Fnatic back into that racks now, secure the top lane. There'll be a buyback out from Whiteman, but they're out of it. So every time they have the Voodoo and Healing Ward up, man, you just can't kill these guys off. They just stay alive for too long. Oh, White Man, he got jumped on. He can't die like this. He just fought back. He doesn't yet, but Impal does come in from DJ, and that's going to be enough. White Man's gone for 70. And Fnatic, I mean, they're full HP and basically full mana, but they're not really going to follow up on that soul bar. It's very, very uh, defensive. And it looks like they are just going to try and wait out Whiteman, but you've got so much sustain here with the Guardian Greaves healing ward and the, uh, and the heals from Jazz. And now Raven getting taken out by his own illusions. Carl trying to come in from the back, from the behind, but it doesn't really work out. He has to run it back forward. Now Ice 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 being purged up. They do BKB. He will die. Cuckoo jumps in onto Jazz, but Dragon Tail does come out from Moon. He does die now. Savage, however, is in trouble. He still holds onto the Aegis and will lose it. Jabs, Death Ward with the cast, DJ unable to get a stun off. And so they say yes, we'll keep going. Omni slashes back up in about 10 seconds. They've just finished up the Scotty while all that was happening as well for Savage. So he has more stats and more damage. Getting jumped on, disruption gonna save him. He'll be fine to just quick out of there. Now with the, the dragon form illusions, they can just keep pushing in that rat. Savage goes for the big Omni. Wyman's gonna drop very, very quick. Cuckoo, or rather Carl, does manage to render it away. But Savage doesn't mind that. He'll go back into that mid lane rats. And uh, we still have a Clipster on Raven. He has not been able to commit it. Another Soulbind flies out, but they've already lost that mid rats. Sonic Ooh. Wave, no Moon takes no damage. He has the BKB up. They just can't kill it. And now Fnatic's back in. They've oh. turned up Raven. He BKBs pops the Eclipse, but Savage is taking half the oh, damage. No. Raven's dying too quick. He will go down. Cuckoo <laughs> needs to run, but Ice 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 is on the chase with the Shadow Poison spam. They get him as well. Oh, this is looking bad. This is looking real bad for Geek Fam as they are under the tier 4 towers now. They can't push the final lane of Rats, but it doesn't matter. They just don't respect Side of Geek Fan with this draft at all right now. As Carl's trying to run, but he's been stunned up. There's too much damage coming in. He will fountain, or he will render to the fountain, but they're just, they're just camping the fountain now. The That's an important start from <laughs> Jabs. Oh. Oh, oh bro. Who forced off again? How dare they? <laughs> it was uh, it was Zephyr on the Grimstroke that managed to get that done. Savage, however, is just concentrating on the tier 4 towers. They're still trying to defend this, but Savage is pushing way too fast. There's so many heals coming in, they can't get through the HP pools. They never have to back off. Now, Carl, he ends up oh going down the M, but no buyback available on him. They jump back in with Cuckoo, but Cuckoo just blinked. He oh might be gosh. dead. Yeah, he's gone. The GG's been called. Ooh. Oh, Fnatic, what a way to finish this series off.
They just oh, yeah. for one rat and they never go back. <laughs> That's that is really <laughs> one way to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one way to do it. And uh, fanatic. Well, game one was highly dominant. Game two, geek fam.